Gibby Gang, let's dive all the way in. Worldwide exclusive. Yo, Gibby Gang, stand up with your boy, Marco Salazar. That time is here, brother. My Patreon fam, y'all always come through and you request songs. It's, hey, sometimes you take losses. A lot of the times, more times than not, I'd say 90% of the time, y'all bring fire content that I would have never discovered if it wasn't for you. So Marco requested Drown in Sulfur today. It's, it's death metal, so y'all know my opinion on death metal. I usually don't like it. So you stepping into it might be an uncomfortable territory, so, but you're willing to take that risk. So death metal, black metal, Drown in Sulfur is the group. They've been around since 2014. The song today is called Black Wind. I, I don't know what to expect, man. It's got 1.5 million views that dropped uh, almost two years ago. I got my Ryan Pilots, aka the Bling Bling. We're going to throw them things on right now. I got multiple pairs of banger shades. Y'all know I got a whole basket. If the song goes crazy, these will go on my eyeballs. Haters, if y'all got a problem with that or anything to say in my comment section, it's okay. I expect nothing less. I brought something for you. A racer for the haters. Still drop that comment below. I'm still going to Part that thing just because I know what pisses you off. But hey, Marco, me, we about to turn up. Hopefully get Liddy Six Titties. Drown in sulfur. Let's get it popping. Cheers. <sighs> See if it could be like a death metal that actually captivates my soul and makes me feel good like metalcore does. Boy, he came in with a smooth karate kick. You see that roundhouse? Bring that back. Hold on. Got a little martial arts meets Kung Fu. Bruce Lee would be proud. Come in with it. Well, the intensity is absolutely there. Ha. I know y'all get a headache, because I sure do when you're doing that, all that bouncing. Talk to it. Huh? See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is why I usually can't rock with death metal. Y'all could just, if you would come out and say instrumental, I'd be all for it. I would love death metal because the intensity, that, it sounds like this is how Ginger comes on the scene. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you would classify Ginger, you know what I'm saying, Tatiana, Ginger, and the crew as, as death metal. I don't classify that as death metal. That's like heavy metal because they can hit the best clean. They can hit cleans with the best of them in metalcore. I love Ginger. This right here, though, I don't understand a vocal that this man just... I don't even classify that as a, a vocal. That is a deep, raspy growl that I can't piece together. That's not English. But if y'all just came out and said, okay, the song is called Black Wind. It's an instrumental, come in, full intensity, drums, every bass, guitar, electric, everything going crazy. All the instruments. I'm not a musician. I may, may be completely incorrect, but... That would deserve the bangers, but now when y'all start... Like you swallowed 30 frogs and just... It, what is going on, man? I can't. How do you expect a listener like me and a reactor, a reviewer, to to talk about that? I don't know what message you're trying to portray, but I love the instrumentals. That drown with sulfur, y'all got that down packed. But Marco, do you understand what he's saying? If you do, please translate for your boy. I'm gonna give him a chance, though. I'm gonna, just like Bring Me the Horizon, I didn't like them at first, but now you see, I got a whole playlist, and we get Liddy Six Titty. So y'all gonna get the same respect. Come on now. But the instrumentals is hard. <laughs> See, it sound like some leeches out there just dying. It sound like that. 
you know, y'all remember Men in Black with Will Smith and I forgot the other dude's name in the original Men in Black and Men in Black 2. You had that old farmer that, that like passed away or he died and then he had like them little bugs crawling out of his mouth. It, it, he sound like that. And that don't sound appealing to me. That is, it's disturbing if you may, but I'm throwing these on for the, for the instrumentals. All you guys in the back, minus the lead singer. Oh, y'all killing the game. And he probably has a beautiful voice. He could probably captivate your soul and make you feel good. But the way that they're laying it on here, death metal is not for me, Marco. Please, y'all. Don't request death metal no more. It's not for me. Hey! But the instrumentals is crazy. I can't do it, man. Or can I? Hold on. Respect the aggression, though. Hit him with the roundhouse again. Oh, he went. Boy, I get strepatitis. That's the new thing. Cause I'll we're gonna call these earthquake vibes, but in the sense that the drums absolutely is brilliant. What they're doing on the drums, the intensity, the aggression, you can feel it every time they that, that beat drop. Every time he boom, 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 and he did a little flip in there. I love the acrobatics y'all got going on. It shows your your versatility, but Dwayne Johnson, the movie San Andreas, it was all about the earthquakes and out in California, the fault lines was cracking and everything was going crazy. He would be proud. That, that, that's a vibe. But what my man is doing as a lead singer, it, it doesn't it doesn't work for me. Now, if you like it, I respect you. This just ain't for me. Please, if you go pay on Patreon, I, I'm not going to, I'll take your money if you're going to give it out. That, I'm a businessman, but I, I, I don't feel right taking it if you're going to request stuff that I don't like exactly. Now, this, Marco, you gave it a chance, but... I, I have a strong feeling that this next minute is not going to blow me away because I don't understand not a word my man is saying. It sounds like he done swallowed all the sulfur. Drowned in sulfur. He drowned in his whole lung capacity. But they kill him. Well, I like that. See, now that, that kind of pisses me off. I'm not going to lie to you because that has so much potential. I want to love it because if you put me on a beat like that, if you put me on something like that, I'm going to love it. Like, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to love it and I'm, I'm going to drop some bars on it. But if you put that kind of vocal on there, I, I can't rock with it. It doesn't make me feel good. It makes me wonder, like, what have you really been? You've been through some deep, dark times. Now, I know 
as a, as a person that has listened to a lot of music and I've, I've listened to some of the deep lyrics and I've listened to some of the real happy uplifting lyrics to put music into its fully fully formed artwork you got to go through some stuff to act, to put that onto the to the music right there you got to have been through some some crazy stuff so I hope you got through it I hope you're still pushing it and you still living your best life and you're trying to improve every day but I don't know what happened at the end it looked like the, the bodies fell over like Jeff Dunham was was controlling them and they just he said nope I'm retiring I give up now they bodies just sitting there dang I, Marco, what is going on, brother? Y'all got to let me know in the comments. Why do y'all like death metal? What about this music captivates you? Because it don't it don't do that to me. So y'all going to hate you. Thumbs down the video. Do what you got to do, man. But hey, while you're here, tap that red subscribe button. Hit that bell. So next time I do post, maybe I'll rack to some death metal again someday. And there might be something I like. You'll be notified to your phone. Social media is on the screen. If you rock with me on here, rock with me in real life is what, what kind of social media life outside of YouTube. Uh, links are in the description. If you got a song request and you want to make sure it gets done, Patreon is the way to do it. On my YouTube equipment, everything I use for YouTube is down below. Gibby gear, all that stuff. But hey, I love y'all. Thanks for giving me a, a chance to, to dive into different music. But th this category ain't for me. So I'm going to spare you the heartbreak. Don't request death metal or black metal or whatever type of metal this is. That was... I don't like it. Please don't ask for it again. But hey, I love y'all for right now. D. Gibby, out. Man, I got summer hating on me because I'm hotter than the sun. Got spring hating on me because I ain't never sprung. Winter hating on me because I'm colder than y'all. And I would never, I would never, I would never fall. Yo, seriously, y'all need to start trading. I don't care what it is you do for a career. I don't care whether you like it or not. If you don't like it, what are you doing? You need to be trading. It's been around since the 80s. It's what I've been doing for a couple years. Now it's what I do full time for a job. I'm looking out for y'all. I don't I don't need to tell you about this. It's not no secret. It's not no hidden gem, but you need to be doing it. If you go to my Instagram, you can see what I'm talking about. Go to my Instagram. I have two results tab. Y'all see the numbers. Y'all see the profits. Y'all see what I'm doing. It's a skill. You take time to learn the skill. It's not something you're just going to jump in one night, one day, one week, one month, one year and you're gonna be a complete expert. But after a couple months, if you've learned, you definitely are adding 500, 1,000, 2,000, whatever. The learning curve is different for each person, but you need to be trading, you need to learn this skill. If your money is just sitting in the bank, not working for you, you're playing yourself. You need to put that money that you're working hard for every single day, clocking in, nine, five, eight, 10, whatever it is, however many hours you're working a week, you need to learn this skill called Forex Indices. There's a bunch of different uh, markets you can trade, but you need to learn how to trade in general. The skill will pay you for the rest of your life. You'll be able to take care of your family. You'll be able to be like D Gibbs, move my family to Florida. That's where I'm going within the next two months. Y'all know I'm getting the house if I can speak properly. You know what I'm saying? But y'all need to learn this skill. Forex. If you got questions, DM me on Instagram. Get a hold of me. Check out my my page, my results. Check out other people's pages on Google, whatever it is. But you need to be trading. I'm letting y'all know right now. It's on the screen. I'm showing you results. But hey, get to it, man. Stop playing yourself. It's time to start living. Freedom, baby. You get one life.